Good morning and welcome to ABC 25 Local Lifestyles. I'm Angie Umphrey. Ron Rhodes, on this Thursday, it is Friday Eve. It's so the first day of December. It is the first day of December. Feels like December outside. But you know what doesn't have, we don't have outside that we had yesterday? Wind. I mean, oh, big, true, wind, big true. wind. We've got a little bit of wind out there, but not much. Not so. bad. What's the feels like temperature out there? Uh, feels like it's pretty much what you see is what you get. The problem <laughs> is what you get is still pretty cold. You know, you look at the thermometers, you know, like when you have that big wind, you look at the thermometer, you say it's 35. I can deal with that. You get out there and it feels like 20. It's like, I don't want to deal with this. It's you know? sharp, isn't it? Yeah, that yeah, was that yesterday. Today, sharp. it's like, yeah, it's still still cold enough, even without the wind. So, well, it's December. It's Today December. is the beginning of meteorological winter. Oh, it is. The three coldest months of the year: December, January, and February. True. We meteorologists like to break it up in months. So, yeah, these are the three coldest. And the good news is, is that February is a short month, so it's like. It's a shorter winter, Well, right? there's that. Well, that just means it'll bleed over into March, man. Well, more than, yeah. <laughs> well, Mar March, is there a more up and down month than March? No. I mean, you'll, you'll get, no, you'll get no, up to like I mean, 75. No, I it's kind of go right down to like 20 or something. These last few weeks have been kind of nutty. I know, and I, I said this to Joe, though, earlier. I said, you just go back to late September, the last like week and a half of September, all during October, in the first solid 10 days of November, we had some of the best weather we've ever absolutely had heaven. in my life. Heaven. And I've been around for a long time. So I'm not going to complain too much about this because I know we had it good for a it long time. It was a good run. It and was a good run. Color. Coming <laughs> up today on the show, this Saturday, you can really get in the spirit of the season with the downtown Evansville Christmas event. Adam Trinkle is right over there in the red chair, yes, ready to tell us all about it. Holiday furniture shopping got lots easier at Charlotte's Furniture. Let me tell you what a selection they have. AARP sends out warnings for shoppers, especially online. Beware of the scams. An expert will tell you today what to be looking for. And we go bacon at King's with our oh, TikTok yeah. friend Donnie Mays, plus a craft show to support Castle Bands coming up this weekend with wonderful shopping opportunities, 150 vendors. It's so big that they have shuttles to drive you into the... I'm not kidding. Are you serious? With all the parking lots are full around. All the schools, they have shuttles to drive you to the craft show. So beware. <laughs> you know, plan Let me tell ahead. you something, though. I mean, Castle Band, I mean, they, they, they're going to be going to the Rose Bowl. They're actually right, going to be in the Rose Bowl for it. Uh, it's coming up here pretty soon, so it's like, yeah, that's a big time band. You I love bet. It. Well, it's all the bands. They've got jazz bands and junior high oh, bands. Oh, absolutely, yeah. that's true. The right. drum line and all that good fun yeah. too. Weather wise, we've got some clouds out there, but we've got some sunshine too. We're going to see a pretty a good mix bit. throughout the afternoon. And you know, the temperature, yeah, it could be warmer. I'm right there with you. The average high is 50. We're not going to hit 50 today. We are going to hit the 50s tomorrow though, but it's going to be cloudier chance for a few showers. But we finally thawed out. Now that we're up to 34 degrees, not much of a wind. Like I said, east at three. That's doable. Angie, will you be out power walking today, or is that still too cold? What's your power walking temp that you like? You know, I could I could do 35 without wind. Yeah, that's I what could, we got. Because you know, once you get going, it's yeah. hard the first you know 10 minutes. Yeah. But after that, it's not bad. But the wind gets me. It really does. We've got the Santa 5K coming up this weekend, so it's going to be on fr uh, Saturday morning. I will say oh, this. Oh, it's the rotary, yeah. The rotary, yes. Yeah. But what we got, it's like it looks like that front's going to move through before. The race. It should be by six o'clock. We should see the rain out of the way. The problem is the temperature will be dropping for the rest of the day. Adam, are you listening? So it's gonna it's be okay. Dropping. It's Christmas event. But here's the thing: a lot of these guys and gals dress in like Santa suits. Oh, absolutely. So I mean, even though it, it could be falling through the 40s, 40s are doable. You can do the 40s. <laughs> uh, but it will be a little windy out there too. So some of those Santa beards might get uh, torn off. Put some it's a long real underwear beard. on underneath that Santa there suit. There you go. <laughs> That'll work. Let's get to today's daily dish. Well, we love winners around here, and tis the season, but oh, tis the year to bring the cheer with the Hoosier Lottery Holiday Scratch-Offs. A lucky winner every day will receive a packet of scratch-off tickets worth 50 bucks. And today's big winner is good old Mike Brown. Mike Brown! Congratulations, Woo Mike. Let's hear it for Mike. Mike, you're a winner. Congratulations, you are $50 scratch-offs better right now, so hope they're winners for you. And holiday yeah, really. opportunities abound this weekend. We've just been telling you about a few. Head up to Princeton this weekend for the 2022 Snowflake Christmas Parade. It's a big one. Oh, cool. They planned so long to get this. The theme this year is Christmas at the movies. All right. So, you know, all the floats and the bands will be playing theme songs from movies, and the floats will begin to roll out at 5. This is a lighted Christmas parade. I love 
love Lydic. Love, don't you? Yes. The one in Owensboro they have every year is so wonderful. They've Do already had it, I know. but Had them at night. Well, the mayor will night. kick everything off by lighting up the courthouse cool. before, uh, before the parade. And after the parade, you'll get to visit with Santa himself. And if you want to know all the information about this, you can go to Gibson County Visitors and Tourism Bureau and see the whole schedule of activities. But I, it, I know this is going to be great. And again, we love a lighted evening parade. Yeah, we really do. And, and Princeton has such a really impressive courthouse, Doesn't too. Doesn't it? That whole square, yeah. That yes. whole square is yes. a very impressive area, and yeah, that's what I love most. And like I said, these Christmas parades at night, I know it's colder. I know it might be tougher on the people looking, but it looks so much better with all these floats. It really lit does. Up. It's just you got Christmas festive. trees around you and stuff like that. It really is much more festive that way. Princeton is the place there to you go. Get, get that for you. <laughs> There's a new holiday brew run that's interesting, okay. right. inspired by one of the most iconic movies of all time. Warner Brothers and Brew Dog have teamed up to create oh, yeah. a limited release. It's a beaut, pecan and toffee stout inspired by, of course, the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yeah. It's a, supposed to have notes of fudge and oh. nuttiness and vanilla. A medley of flavors. There you go. It's a beaut is a porter, and that's supposed to make you happy this Christmas. And I just learned that a porter is a beer that was developed in England, yeah. in London, England, in the early 18th century. <laughs> so, you're see, not much of a porter drinker. I'm or not beer a beer drinker. Yeah, but you can go to Brew Dog website online to see what that's all about. Well, that sounds pretty it's cool. It's not a nutmeg Pepsi. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've been, yeah, I've been thinking about that all day. Than, although, seriously, I'm not a fan of flavored beers either, though. So, But I don't drink a lot of beer either. I'm like right. you. And I'm, but I'm not a... I, I like just like regular stuff. I don't know. I don't want to sound bland. The problem is when you have drinks like Brew Dogs and alcoholic drink, I mean, you have alcoholic drinks that taste really good. That is, you could go over that the, is bad news. Go a bridge because, too far. Yes, don't do it. You're drinking it like it's Kool-Aid. Next thing you know, your legs are jelly. So next that's uh, next thing you know, I hope you're calling someone to drive you home. <laughs> that please. too, yes, absolutely. <laughs> More holiday fun coming up. Adam Trinkle is here. Downtown Christmas.